icon of horror Vincent Price is known for several classic films. But which 10 do you think were his best? Here are 10 Vincent Price's films that illustrate every mood you may be in. There's plenty of laughter as well as dark, mournful depths to wallow in and also terrifying tombs to visit. Price always approached his roles with thought and emotion, whether he was playing a reluctant hero or a villain. But before we go on, let's quickly smash the like and share button. With that done, let's begin. Number 10. Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare 1975 Vincent Price was well-traveled. He hosted Alice Cooper's concert in 1975. Vincent Price was an excellent option for the host, given Cooper's love for onstage horror shows. How often do audiences see horror icons host a rock concert? It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance encounter. Given that viewers can watch Price host and Cooper play Schools Out, among other songs, Alice Cooper Welcome to My Nightmare is the best pick for this summer. Number 9. An Evening of Edgar Allan Poe Price narrates four different Edgar Allan Poe stories. Who better for the job than the actor recognized for his horror movie ropes? As he reads, The Cask of Amontillado, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Telltale Heart, and The Sphinx. Price keeps the audiences enthralled with every word. Number 8. The Song of Bernadette, 1943 Bernadette, a 14-year-old girl, sees a woman clothed in white holding a pearl rosary. Bernadette encounters doubt, criticisms, and some believers along the way as her narrative spreads throughout the world. Bernadette returns to the grotto where she first saw the woman. As time passes, more people believe Bernadette, especially when the grotto's water has magical properties. Price portrays Vital Dutour, a non-believer who eventually comes to his senses and prays for forgiveness. Number 7. Leave Her to Heaven, 1945 this film depicts a whirlwind relationship and subsequent marriage fit for the pages of a romance novel, but not in a positive way. Alan meets novelist Richard and sparks up a romance with him, even though she is engaged to another man named Russell. Played by Price, Alan becomes increasingly envious, forcing Richard's brother to drown and inflicting a miscarriage on herself to keep Richard focused solely on her. She even goes so as far as to consume arsenic to frame Ruth, her cousin, for murder. Ruth is charged with Alan's murder by Russell, a district attorney. The plot revolves around whom justice serves best. Number 6. The Ten Commandments, 1956 In this Cecil B. the Mill picture, Price plays Baca. The tale of Moses is the focus of the film. After saving an older woman, whom he does not realize is his original mother, from being crushed to death, Moses confronts Baca in the movie for his terrible treatment of the enslaved people. Following this episode, Moses begins to treat enslaved people better and boost their production. Price's character as Baca demonstrated his versatility as an actor. Number 5. Edward Scissorhand, 1990 Price appears as the inventor, the god behind Edward's creation, in this great Tim Burton film. He loves Edward as a son and treats him, homeschool him, and then was willing to replace the scissor with actual hands. Unfortunately, the inventor dies of a heart attack, leaving Edward alone and incomplete because he never received trustworthy hands. However, Edward goes on to experience the adventure with the Avon sales lady and her family. Number 4. Laura, 1944 this classic 1944 film noir is a landmark in the genre, but it's also a standout in Price's career. The film follows an NYPD investigator named McPherson as he investigates the killing of Laura, a young and beautiful lady. Price portrays Laura's fiancé Shelby Carpenter, who isn't quite the ideal partner. He's toxic and unfaithful, and Laura has made it clear that she doesn't care for him. Price nailed the character of the nasty fiancé, demonstrating his commitment as an actor. Number 3. Vincent Price, The Sinister Image, 1987 Price's extraordinary career, which covered multiple genres such as film, televisions, and radio, was showcased in this documentary. Cinema historian David Del Val interviewed Price for the documentary, including shows highlighting Price's television career. This is an excellent documentary to watch if you want to understand more about the actor or if you are already a fan. Number 2. The Last Man on Earth, 1964 while Vincent Price is better renowned for his more sinister roles, one of his favorite performances is The Last Man on Earth. Price discovers the compassion behind a man who sees himself mistakenly as a reluctant hero in the first three cinematic adaptations by the great Richard Matheson. In the film, Price loses everything and lives a solitary life, murdering vampires and surviving the night. But when confronted with a new reality that the monsters have become the new norm and he is in fact the menace they all fear, he can't accept it. This is a prize picture worth checking out because it is thrilling, thought-provoking, and devastating. Number 1. 
House on the Haunted Hill, 1959. Vincent Price's ability to always appear to be having fun was part of what made him such a remarkable performer. No film better exemplifies this than House on Haunted Hill, in which Price plays eccentric millionaire Frederick Lauren. As Lauren, Price is weird, charming, and funny. Price appears to be highly similar to these individuals in real life too. Sure, he's unlikely to have killed anyone directly or indirectly, but he did throw wild parties, right? Isn't it possible that some of them were in haunted houses? That explains why Price was so reasonable in this role. Have you watched any of these movies? Which one is your favorite pick? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and we'll be back with another amazing video soon.